Hi all, welcome to my channel Handmade at Home by Harish. So if you are coming across this video or my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and follow me for more such videos. This video I will be explaining home automation using Wi-Fi switches. So here if somebody does not know what is Wi-Fi switches, so I'll give a brief on this. These Wi-Fi switches are nothing but the IoT devices which is used to control other devices remotely with the help of internet. And uh, IoT stands for Internet of Things. So here I'll be demonstrating how you can integrate or connect these miniature Wi-Fi switches to your home appliances and configure these Wi-Fi switches to the respective mobile apps and also will show you how you can control and configure these devices based on your need. Any person with the basic knowledge of how to use a smartphone and to connect wire using a screwdriver should be able to do this. For this purpose, actually I have bought Tingsy switches which is kind of uh, cheap and best devices which I found in the market. So let's proceed with unpacking and connecting the devices to one of the sample home appliances. Okay, let's open it. Sixteen amps smart Wi-Fi switch. This cost me around uh, six hundred and twelve rupees, like directly from their site. Let's open this and see what it has. Okay, so this is the uh, sixteen amps smart switch, and you can see the connecting uh, provi provisions provided. And I think yeah, this is a reset button and this is an indicator. And apart from this, yeah, we have a user manual. Okay, yeah, this is the QR code for downloading the Tingsy app. And okay, they have also shared the steps how to connect and also the wiring diagram. This is a typical uh, like a switch arrangement which you can see in your house. So this is like uh, uh, AC, uh, yellow wire you can consider as face and black as neutral. So currently this is powered on. So I just used uh, some wire to get the supply from a socket just to demonstration purpose. Be careful with the electrical shocks. So this is a bulb which is being uh, like controlled by the switch. So if you just put this switch, it will just on. So this is a just to uh, like show an example how it works in general. So now we will be using this switch or this Wi-Fi switch parallel to this switch. That means you can either control by this switch or via the Wi-Fi switching. So uh, why uh, this is an advantage over the normal Wi-Fi plug is even when uh, you don't have internet or something this switch will serve the purpose. Like if you want to switch on you can actually switch on. Mm, using this physical switch itself rather than controlling via Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is beneficial only when you are like uh, not in house or you are traveling and you need to switch on or switch off something. So and definitely that needs internet. Just a FYI for all the viewers. So let's see how we can uh, parallelly connect this switch instead of this switch or along with this switch. Let me explain how to disconnect this switch from the main uh, circuit of your whatever switching device and uh, integrate this Wi-Fi switch into the same circuit. So uh, this is the like circuit diagram which we received uh, along with this switch. So let's see how the connection is established. So this is as the same way I have kept the orientation of this paper. So this uh, neutral that means black wire and load red wire is uh, something we have to uh, from the switchboard these both the lines will be available. This will be coming from the switch and this 
already the neutral will be available in any of the neighboring plug point or uh, it will be there always it will be available at a junction or your switchboard so those two lines you directly give it to this point and this point if it interchanges also it really doesn't matter but uh, just for the explanation purpose i'll just use this as it is and uh, suppose here it's just given a geyser picture let's imagine this as a bulb so you already have this neutral right the black wire so this bulb also need a neutral and a load so already you have provided load to this line so take the load from this pin and give it to the bulb or the any electrical device and neutral you can just take it from the same point and give it now comes to the switch part so already load is there you give provide a connection to load and through the switch you give it back to this point this is the wiring uh, connection which i'll be doing let's uh, do the connection part okay so first thing you're going to do is you just remove both the connection from the switch the physical switch so this as i say said this is uh, this is the load and this is the connection to the device so just connect it to this first pin which is nothing but the load input you just connect the other wire to this second pin now we need to have a parallel connection to the switch so i'm just taking two additional wire okay i've just already cut and kept so you just connect it to this is a two way uh, switch that's why you are seeing three connection points or else it will be just two so you can just directly connect to those two wires so here if you are using a two way switch center should be one and either direction uh, one of that you can use it as the second point okay, i just told uh, so that you don't get confused so one wire as in the earlier circuit will directly go to this last pin wire from the switch or to the switch should be connected to the load here we need to give the uh, negative or the neutral to this switch so i'll use another wire okay so now as you see uh, we have connected the switch the wifi switch the mechanical switch or the physical switch the bulb everything into the supply so let's uh, switch on uh, the power supply so you can see this blinking uh, the fast blinking it's actually connecting to internet once it is connected it will stay on uh the switch configuration and connecting to the device i have already done okay. device in the sense connecting to the mobile app i have already done i'll just show you later so this is a physical switch if you want to see whether it works see it works i can switch on and switch off just like normally how it was working before this is done and now i'll show you how this app you can control so here is the like app this is the tinxc app which i have installed it you can see this is already configured connected i had added this device so if i just turn on it works turn off so for example if i switch on the uh, physical switch and the device is on you can see the status here in this app also so if if you still want to switch off from the wifi app you can do that so until you again switch off and switch on this will stay off because you have switched off it from the app so you off it 
you again on so again you still have the physical control or the normal control within this uh, device so this uh, flexibility in the physical switch and the remote switch you don't get with the uh, default uh, wi-fi switches not wi-fi switches the plugs which you buy directly so you see i have uh, removed all the additional wiring everything just to show in case if you want to connect it from uh, a previously installed location to a other place or um, like you want to delete the device from a one mobile and um, associate to a new device so either case uh, this part will be helpful so for this i have just uh, kept only the supply power supply uh, to the device so this is helpful uh, initially before fixing the device to any circuitry so you can just uh, connect it configure and add the device to the app and then you continue with the connection part later so it will be very useful for pairing and stuff so here i'll just uh, show you uh, first thing you delete the device from the existing app for the first time there will not be any devices visible and just for a, a cross check you can press and hold the device for five seconds as per the instruction manual it will reset the device so you can see it starts blinking so now you can go to the app and proceed with get started by adding a device so smart connection and remember that it should be your wi-fi should be connected to the 2.5 gigahertz so as you see it's already connected just uh, if you have it will ask for the wi-fi password that's it and you just give connection so it just displays it may take up to three minutes but uh, really it doesn't take it takes a minute to maximum to a minute see it got added so once you see this message just click done so you can see now it's connected to a device and it's added so this turns and continue to glow in green there's nothing but now you can just see so you can start controlling the device through the wi-fi and also like uh, there is some scene option here you can actually add this device to a room create a room like bedroom uh, your living room all these things and assign that to just to organize the devices you can also create scene for example if uh, time of the day for example uh, like 10 pm 10 if it's 10 pm switch on the light smart light you select which device to turn on on okay then you can uh, give a delay of uh, sorry yeah this is a delay of 30 minutes it can be minimum delay is one minute then you can add one more thing like device this is just an example of so i'll just explain you so if it if the time of the day is 10 pm the device will switch on it will be on for 30 minutes then it will get off so like this you can actually add different scenes so this automatically executes every day like on the set time okay so like this you can just create for example if you want to turn on your light evening from 7 to night 10 you can just create a scene and leave it off it will automatically turn on the device and turn off so this is one such example and how to configure your wi-fi switch to the app hope this session was helpful and like uh, any doubts or any difficulty in connecting or establishing your circuit you can always reach out to me you can comment uh, in the below chat section i will actually get back to you thank you